It's Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined today by Kurt Hagman. He is a member of the Board of Supervisors in San Bernardino County, and he has recently returned from a trip to China. And I very much want to hear about the trip. It was a trip where you were looking to build relationships, create partnerships for your great county. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Great to be back on, Brad. Um, San Bernardino County, the largest county in the United States, 14th largest population, doesn't have any official friendships or relationships of any other country at this point. What? We, ha we haven't up to this point. So. so I guess there are a lot of sister city relationships, but I guess San Bernardino is a county, so is that... We've never really focused right. on that in the past. Um, so it's, I thought coming into this role, it'd be a good thing for me to introduce the county to. And it, you know what we're looking for is attraction of businesses, um, foreign investment, you know, job creating type situations for the county of San Bernardino. So let's kind of break that down. I want to start with the sister city relationship, because I, I actually am a big fan of that. I know a lot of cities have done that. So you now have, as a county, a sister city? First one. What's it called? Wuxi. And where is Wuxi? Wuxi is halfway between Nanjing and Shanghai. Tell us about Wuxi. Wuxi is about 6.4 million population. Okay. It's kind of same. You have about 2.2 million. Correct. About three times larger right. population. It's in the shadow of Shanghai. Kind is of it like, a city or a county or <coughs> different? It's a <laughs> they have different cities. Yeah. It's part of the province, but you know they're different cities, different size. They have townships, kind of like our cities, okay. inside it. So it's kind of more like a county, oh, it's like a but county, they still yeah. call it a city. Okay. Um, they're in the shadow of Shanghai of 23 million. So one could argue that LA the same, County exactly. is creating a shadow. It's one of their fastest growth areas in China right now, which is the same thing for San Bernardino. Right. You know? So there's a lot of parallels along with it. They're big logistics and manufacturing, which we're looking Sounds for. Sounds familiar. They have multiple airports that underutilize. Right like we do as well. Ontario, we'll talk about that. <laughs> exactly, so a lot of matching them. What's, do they have a main industry? You mentioned logistics, but do they, are they focused on anything specific? No, they have a lot of manufacturing. Okay. Um, you know, um, they're uh, more of a retail and industrial type manufacturer, so everything from aircraft parts to screws to retail items. So Sounds familiar. Yes. I, mean, I think about it's what's a, going on, for example, in Victorville. And they have yeah. some of the major shipping logistics right there, just like we have UPS and Federal Express hubs. How, how did you find them? How did this happen? It was um, from my previous job. Okay, you, know, you were a member of the California Assembly? Yes. Um, Jansu, which is the province or their state, right. is the sister state of California. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. so it kind of matches a lot of right. different things. So we kind of narrowed down uh, appropriate size, not too small, not too right, big, right. Um, not a capital city. They were looking because they're uh, overshadowed by their Nanjing and Shanghai. Right, right, right. Everybody wants to be partners with the big cities, but not the smaller ones. So give us a sense. I assume you went. Yes. Tell us about it. What does it look like, feel like, smell like? Give us a feel for the city. Uh, this I've been over there a number of times right. up to this point. Uh, everything's much bigger than we could ever imagine here. You know, the buildings, the roads, the traffic, is all it, the rest of it. Is it spread out like San Bernardino County or is it dense? No, the cities are much more dense. Their okay. population centers are lots and lots of very high buildings everywhere. Okay. Skyscraping, you know, type right. buildings. Like downtown LA times a thousand, oh, wow. you know, for each city, right. you know, okay. it really is, it's all that kind of, mm -hmm. so obviously a lot of traffic, a lot more public transportation. Mm. Um, it amazes me how many people ride mopeds, for example, just not a lot of cars. Right. I mean, there's a lot of cars, but for the population. I like that. That'd yeah. So, and everything's close by. So you get to right. get lots of public transportation, railways, subways, those type of things. Um, very much more, they're set up to gear toward foreign governments. Oh, really? Yes. So they okay. have whole departments of foreign affairs at each city at the different levels of government that meet you, greet you, you know, wow. make sure they take care of your needs. We need to do that. Riverside County, my sister county, right. has a much better developed system than San Bernardino does right now. We're working on ours. So it is an international global market. Right. We have to have someone be the helper for that yeah. and to help our businesses learn how to export their goods overseas and how now, we can... Will they take our goods? I mean, China's known for being protectionist. Yes, and that's why the government relationships are very important. Mm. You have to show the respect, you have to get to know the people, you have to be able to clear the pathways for the businesses to work through their hubs, so to speak. Their so hub is their government. What are you hoping to accomplish? I, I think about San Bernardino. It does have a lot of logistic centers, so it's kind of housing products as opposed to manufacturing products. That's a generalization, but yes. what, do, what do you hope Well, one to thing is I'd like to start growing more manufacturing centers here to sure. begin with, and to be able to show that with the change, it is a global market. What you're seeing in, in, in China particularly is the overdevelopment is done. I mean, the oh, bigger pools of money uh, mm -hmm. have basically, and multiple different pools of money in the billions are mm -hmm. looking for safe investments outside the government. So that way it stabilizes their investment. I have an idea. 
One could argue a safe investment would be Ontario airports. Yeah, it was what something on the list. Uh, what do you think? I mean, it's maybe you know it's a little cheaper now because flights have been down, so you could get a you know good a good return. Yeah. Obviously, one of the big things being on the on the OIAA board, Ontario International right. Airport Authority um, board member, is to start promoting their new deal with LAX and try to entice foreign flights to start coming to. And Ontario. let's remind our viewers: Los Angeles and Ontario have entered into an agreement whereby Ontario. Airport will be returned to local control. Is the agreement with the city of Ontario or the county of San Bernardino? Both. We're Both. Jo we're joint. Uh, it's uh, with the airport authority. We're. I we're see. partners in it. And so, so where are we in the process? Um, we should be hopefully sign the check over in a nice. couple of weeks. Nice. And it'll be done. It's going to take a while for our staff. We're in the middle of hiring an executive director and doing right. interviews right now. Um, it'll take us six months before FAA certifies our new team to operate it. So we'll subcontract back to LAWA for that time period okay. until that's done. Um, but LAWA is forward. Los Angeles, we're law ports. Yes. So, so give us a work. sense how you hope to get Wuxi and China involved in Ontario airport. Yeah, absolutely. The first thing is I realized when I went to the three or four different major cities, no one knew where Ontario was. Right. Um, so obviously branding is very important to mm -hmm. San Bernardino County as a whole and especially Ontario Airport. Mm -hmm. Once you say it's 35 miles out of downtown LA, it's like their eyes light up. Really? Right. There's an alternative to LAX. Right. Um, so the marketing part of it is very important. And it's also, if I may say, it's a, it's a gateway to the desert cities. And uh, I understand that a lot of the desert cities are huge attractions for Asian uh, tourists. Pretty so, much, yeah, all the tourism goes right. to, you know, we're closer, we can argue we're faster to get to Disneyland and all, right. the, all the different amusement parks, the outlets to Vegas, to right. all these different Casinos. areas. Yes, we're, we're mm -hmm. closer for all that. Mm -hmm. And so it's a big marketing plan that, that I realize we need to do now for OI, mm -hmm. for the airport authorities to really market the airport. And secondly, is build the facilities. We need an international terminal. We need... Do, there's no international terminal now? No. No international flights No, we now. use a building for that. There's one flight a day to, to Mexico right now. I didn't know that. And actually, logistically, LAX ships the customs and immigration people from LAX to receive that flight daily and ship them back because they tell the federal government we don't want people stationed in Ontario. How interesting. It's, it's for, for a reason way back when. I can only imagine. So yeah. but now you're going to need to. We'll, we'll totally build up the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We'll have a great international uh, terminal. We'll have hotels, shopping. We'll have all that stuff that we plan to hopefully envision in the future. Are you hoping for some investment, though, from China Could be. into the airport? Could be. To bring international airlines, it kind of it kind of works both ways. If I could bring air, international airlines to come, uh -huh. and you got to look at the demographics around Ontario are much more Asian American than they are no around LAX. No doubt. So it's going to be a natural place for those people want to go in home or see the businesses to fly out right. of Ontario. Um, do you need infusion of capital? Do we? Well, you're talking Everyone about does, a billion, billion and a half worth of capitalization of the entire project for the airport, probably when you're done. So but to increase the landings, to increase it's international hotels, flights. shopping, oh, um, bond mm -hmm. warehouses, you know, right. new logistics for shipping because mm -hmm. we made the shipping arrangements with Wuxi as of well. Course, of course. Um, you know, customs, immigration, a whole bunch of stuff. So over a period of time, maybe it's 10 years or so, right. you can see a lot of capital improvement, investment, and what better way to bring those if those companies are involved with the airlines to begin with. Right. So if you're Hanan Airlines and Hanan has an investment group, if they build something, they're going to start sending their planes over. Right. Okay. And so the, it's, there's time. Not that there's not investment here, not there's not capital here. Oh, of course. But you could get, um, if they want to stabilize their, their investment over multiple countries and we want to entice them to come, there may be a way to open it up. So we'll see what happens. His name is Kurt Hagman. He is a member of the Board of Supervisors in San Bernardino County. If you'd like to watch additional episodes of Charter Local Edition, you can always go to our YouTube page. You'll see Kurt there. It is YouTube.com slash Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Charter Local Edition.